And I hope to see <clears throat> after y'all see. What it do everybody, it's your boy Xavier Wolf here and I am in today to try some Indian snacks. You know what I'm saying? I've never had any of these. Nice packaging, very nice. Oh, okay. So uh, I thought it was gonna be like cubes cut up, but it is a brick of these. Mm, smells pretty cool. Here, let me try to chop one of these off. Okay, to cut it? Actually, no, uh, looks like I need a, um, how do they do it? Do, they, do I just dig in or let me see here, I'll figure it out, let me show you. I'll just grab a corner here. Mmm. Tastes like Fruit Loops. I'm for real. What the? <laughs> Sorry. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't hate it. Take another bite just for insurance. Oh, sorry. Worry about that. This is pretty good. Can't lie. I had to take these um, on the road. Oh man, that day. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the second time I've done that, y'all. Don't worry, we we're, we're making it work. So first time I saw, well, that was that was crazy because like I've been like trying to here. Get this in trash. I was um. I'm a big fan of Adult Swim. I've been watching that since I was uh, far back as I can remember, at least like fifth grade for sure. You know, and I used to go to my grandma's house and watch it. Thanks, brother. I used to go to my grandma's house because I didn't have cable at the house. You know, it came on cable, Cartoon Network, all that. I used to go to my grandma's house and watch it over there because she didn't care. And, you know, it just, and that's how I got into anime too. I'm gonna keep it real. Adult Swim. Y'all put me on to a lot of the first like anime shows I liked, like uh, Big O and uh, Trigon used to come on, um, and a few others, bro. Um, just classics. And so the day that I was able to work out the song being on there, it was it was great. It was it was great. So that day I woke up, I knew what day it was gonna be on there, obviously. So that whole day I just spent the day, you know, rounding up my buddies and shit, and we were just at the house chilling and. That first time it came on, the first day it came on, it came on like seven, eight times throughout the night. And the first time it came on, it was it was crazy because I was actually in the bathroom taking a piss the first time it came on. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? Because it came on fast. Like as soon as they did the transition from Cartoon Network to uh to that, it it came on and I was in the bathroom, so I missed the first one. But they Squid got it on uh, camera and, shit, and I saw it and I was like. So then the next time it came on, like, you know, like 30 minutes later, something like that, I was downstairs and uh, and we saw that shit and everybody was just like, you know, just screaming and shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was just crazy. It was, it was the best shit ever. Like, you know, definitely one of the most sickest things that ever happened in my life slash career. So that was lit. It was, it was crazy. It was good. Shouts out to Don't Swim. You boys and girls are the best for sure. Here, here we go. Hmm. Mhm. 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 It's good. These are good. These are good. These are. All it says is India's magic masala. You can see those. These are good. These are really good. I think I'll have another. Spicy, very spicy, but tasty, full of flavor. I think what I'm looking at here is on, uh, apparently there's onion in it, pepper, and at least, oh, obviously that's a potato, so. Mmm, <laughs> very good. Um, it's hard to say. Um, I've seen one time I had a 
R33 pull, I mean, R34 pull up. Oh. Um, but yeah, I know back in 2000, I believe it was like 17. Some, <clears throat> some, <coughs> spicy, spicy. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Yeah, so R34 pulled up and I was like, Damn. cause you don't see those a lot in Cali because they are not legal here yet. And so that was pretty sick. And then what else have I seen? There was also a guy that pulled up and a, um, no, there's uh, there's this guy that pulled up, uh, his name's uh, HP, I think it's Chasers on Instagram or something like that. But he has the Supra that Brian used in the Fast and the Furious, the white one he had. He's the one, has his car. So I got to meet him, that was sick. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, what else have I seen there? Bunch of shit, man, I can't even, what else? I'm trying to think of at least one more. I haven't, I wish I could say I've seen a sil lady pull up to one of my meets before, but that hasn't happened yet. But I did see a sil lady in this parking lot across the street from where I stay at this Whole Foods one day. It was just sitting there and I was like, and I go, I go through that parking lot a lot. You know what I'm saying? Cause I live around there. And that was the only day that car was just sitting there by itself. It was just sitting there. And I was just like, I started to like wait a little bit just to see if the guy had come out just so I could just, just talk to him about the car. But that didn't happen. So I just pulled off, but that was pretty sick. So that's that. And I hope to see <clears throat> after y'all see, he needs some milk. <laughs> Those chips are crazy. It's like it sneaks up on you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking fine and out of nowhere, it's pepper. It's like, shit, you feel me? But no, they are good though, they're good. So, next car meet, I'm gonna have soon. Right now, I'm getting my uh, E46 supercharged. Like, those of you that didn't know, None of you know actually, because I just said it. Like you know, it's just been <laughs> it's just been chilling. So you'll see that in a minute. My uh, S13 Whoa! is about to be up and ready within the next <clears throat> week and a half. Um, I got my boy Anthony over at Alpha Motorsports handling that. Shouts out to my boy. And um, once I get that 46 and that 40 back, I'm gonna throw a car meet, and I'm gonna have both of them. I'm gonna have my E36 there too. I drove my E36 here today. Um, I'm gonna have all three at the car meet. And uh, it's pretty much gonna be a car meet just to show, just to finally just be like, here, here's my cars. They're all together finally in the same spot, which has never happened before, you know, like never, ever. That's not bad at all. This is good as It's very tasty. I bet this right here, cold as a mug, like really cold. Fire. Just break these out. Make it put in the put in the freezer for like 40 minutes. Make sure you time it, and it's gonna get like, you know what I mean, like crystally. Take the shit out, and you know what I mean, like frozen yogurt at that point. Mm -hmm. This is good. I, you know, Adam. Me and him started off as like great friends, great great friends, bro. I thought he was a good guy, and he still is. You know what I mean, like. He still is. Yeah, he just, you know, he kind of took a... So back in the day when I met him, I, I was his first interview ever. And he came to me, he was like, bro, I'm thinking about doing this uh, podcast thing. And I was like, that's, that's cool, of course. Follow your dreams, do whatever, I'm here. And he was like, bro, would you mind, like, you know, maybe... And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Because like, I don't even do interviews like that. So I was like, cool, I'll, I'll f*** with you. And it ended up being real cool, nice interview. And um, I don't know, sometimes I think, like, over time, Maybe like the amount of exposure he was getting and like, you know, he was coming up fast. Sometimes I think that kind of like deterred him from what, you know, he was supposed to be about or what I thought he was about, what we was about. We, cause back in the day when the bike shop was on uh, 4th Street, I think it was, or Main and 4th, I think downtown by Skid Row, the old on store, bro, we was just fucking scraping up food. You know what I mean? Just like riding around, getting hurt and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I went to the shop and all we wanted to do was ride. We just rode, we, we filmed clips, like he, him, Began and Churchill and Tyra taught me a lot of like tricks on my bike shit. Like it's right, it was just good times, bro. So I guess the, the the most painful part for me is just like remembering all that good shit and like how much fun we had and like how now it's like different and 
he's doing all this other shit that I thought he would never do. And it's just like, I mean, I tried to tell him a few times, like, bro, like kind of just dial it back a little bit. You know what I mean? Cause I don't think you're weird. I didn't meet you and think you was weird. So you don't want these motherfuckers thinking you're something you're not. So like, kind of just, I know you blowing up and it's fun, but like, chill, chill a little bit, bro. Like just chill. He didn't chill. And <laughs> he didn't chill and like, you know, and then, but I, these days I see him like back on his bike and like, it, like I always like, if I catch it on the gram, I'll double tap it. Right. You know what I mean? Cause like, that's what I remember right there. Cause he stopped riding for a while, but now he's like, he's back into it. He's getting new tricks and shit. So honestly, I would ride with him again. I'm gonna keep it real. Like bro, cause like I said, like even though we went through a lot of shit on the internet and all that shit, bro, like still got love for him. Like we, we still did what we did. And you know, if he wants to ride, I'll ride. So where did y'all get these from? Do you just yeah, Indian Mart? Mart? Yeah. Let's see. Wait, wait. Like that. Okay, and these are sticky. Okay. Yeah, it smells like mango licious. I'm just gonna take a chunk of bite right here. Mm, pretty good too. It's kind of same as uh, if you ever had dried mangoes. Same thing. Just a lot, a lot more sugary. It's just probably 90%, 95% sugar and 5% mango. It was our first House of Blues show in LA. Cause we was doing warehouse shows you know, just under the radar, just fucking underground, just, you know. And so we were doing, and so the House of Blues in Hollywood was our first real venue show type shit. And we sold that mother out the first time we went. And that was, and this was right before that, cause they was talking, remember they was talking about tearing it down? Well, they, they was talking about tearing it down and we got a chance to get in there three times before they tore it down. So the first time, yeah. And it's the, it's the same House of Blues from Freaky Friday. Mm-hmm, that movie is, Love that movie. And that how, cause I used to watch it as a kid and the end is real sick when they had to go to the House of Blues and she did, you know, they did the little song. That was at the same stage that we was on. Yeah, burning that bitch up. And uh, you challenged your Lindsay Lohan? Exactly, I channeled my Lindsay Lohan, bro. My Jamie Lee, you know, backstage. So it was like that. So that was crazy. And uh, Fred Durst came out. Um, so loved that night. He did. Um, he did break break stuff from uh, you know Fred Durst from Limp Bizkit. Those of you who don't know OG. He came through and you know did that. And it was one of the sickest shows ever. So we sold that shit out first time, and we sold it out two more times when we went back, and then they tore it down. So RIP. Mm, okay, okay. This tastes like, um, I wanna say licorice. It's got a little licorice taste, like, um, I can't put my finger on it. But it's a familiar taste. It's pretty cool. The first bite was a little like, but then it settled down. It was pretty good. Mm. Mm. Man, jeez, that's crazy. These are good questions. Man, it would draw from, um, mm, let's see. Now, hold on, what time, now how far are we talking? Early 2000s, Toonami, these days, Toonami. Toonami when I was in like elementary school and middle school, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, they switch them out. So, so just pick one, just pick one. Let's do recent tsunami. Recent tsunami? Okay, cool. Um, it would pull from Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. My Hero Academia. Uh, did they ever get around? I'm going blank right now. Did they ever get around to putting One Punch Man on uh, tsunami? Mm -hmm. I can't say. Did they? Did they, babe? No. 
Okay, no, nah, they didn't. Nah, as he said, but that's still one of my, okay, cool. But that's still a good show, don't get me wrong. So, okay, uh, um, Attack on Titan, um, My Hero. What else comes on these days? Um, it's crazy how I'm going blank right now and I'm always watching this. Um, let's see. Uh, Assassination Classroom. I don't know if y'all seen that one, but that one ended up being really sick. Um, and I'm gonna I'm pull a few from, so those are from now, and I'll pull a few from back then because I like the old school, uh, like Trigon. I think that was like, if I'm not mistaken, like early 90s. If not the tail end of the 80s, it was like early 90s. And um, Cowboy and Bebop. Yes, yes, feel me? So yeah, that's, that's all I can scratch up right now. I know my anime brain is in there, but when it gets put on the spot, it's like very, I hate that. But what would be the plot? The plot, the plot is um, I'm a fucking, uh, like kind of like a, like like kind of like Naruto was like, he had like the nine tail fox in him, and you know he was a cool dude, good kid. You know people just didn't with him because they thought he was gonna kill everybody again. You know, so it's like that. I probably start off like I'm just this this kid. I come to the new town. I had to move away from wherever I was because I went crazy. You know what I mean? Like, and I didn't know it, but then I got sent to wherever I was at. And now I have to like, you know, make new friends and shit. And everything's going good at first, but then they find out about this shit that happened where I was from. So now they're being weird and I'm like, so then, you know, it probably started off somewhere right there. And then maybe, maybe me and my friends would get into it with say some people, say it's like some bad guys who were trying to like capture whatever was inside me. Let's say it's a wolf, I got a Naruto had the nine tail fox, I got a wolf, like a crazy 15 tail, 15 fang wolf type, shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and I just go crazy, right? So they come to try to get me because they want to dissect me and take out the power and, and use it for whatever they want to use it for. And I'm just like, no. And uh, by that time, I probably made like some nice friends who were probably trying to help me, you know, but they know I'm a good guy. And yeah, so they come and try to get me and then I just end up turning up again. And like the whole series will be me just like fighting off those motherfuckers trying to get me. Yeah, that's pretty good. I made that up on the spot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not those. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, there. All right. Not that bad, actually. They remind me of. Um, can't really put a finger on it. Like, um. Oh, it kind of tastes like. What is that? Like a sunflower seed. Like. Yeah, like sunflower seed ish. It's not bad, actually. Actually. Let me take another little bit. Yeah, bro. Sometimes I'll try some and I'm like, ugh. But then I'll be like, huh. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Whatever that is. There's one thing. I'm, it's probably the chickpea. Yeah. I could see it. Like a little piece of me like hopes that it'll just. Because like the thing is like. <clears throat> if say, say, you know, they came to me or Perp came to me and was like, yo, I'm thinking about doing this shit, like, let's read. I'm ready. I'm down. Like, I still love every single member. Simi, Kinayata, Amber, uh, Denzel, uh, and uh, Chris, everybody, bro. Um, yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down. It's just, I know it's kind of hard. I mean, I don't know if everybody else feels like that, but... I've always, you know what I mean? I've always loved them. Like I've never like hated none of them. You know, even when I left the clan and shit and like perp started going crazy on the internet with all that extra shit. Like I still was like, damn. I still like, you know, them was my niggas. Like we came up, we did our first, my first tour ever was with them. And it was lit, it was cool. I'm down, I'm down. Like we were, I feel like we were supposed to like, I think we tried to like bring it together like, maybe like a year or two ago. Can't remember what happened, but I was down. I was like, let's do it. I'll even, you know what I mean? Like I'll come out there as Ethel Wolf, do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I've never let go of that name. Like I'm still Ethel Wolf. Like don't don't you just get it twisted. Y'all think, you know what I mean? I'm still Ethel Wolf. I'll still, I'll rip it up whenever I want. 
you know so yeah man i'm down like i still talk to him like i still follow amber and kinayata and Simi and and then denzel checking on what they up to you know and they're just chilling like denzel has popped up on me a few times uh at my store in melrose just to kick it Simi, i'm always talking shit with him on twitter every now and then um kinayata he's doing good i checked on him a few weeks ago on the gram he's chilling last time i saw him i had a show in seattle i think it was like 2000 it was 2017 like early 2017 i went to seattle and i hit him up he pulled up on me we went to the show together did you know what i'm saying like i still love all them all, all those people all of my boys my girls all of them man i love them forever Not, not what I thought they'd be like. Hmm, it's like a, uh, it's like a, you know how you get donut holes? It's like a donut hole. It's like a. You like it? Yeah. I'm just, I, I mean, I wouldn't eat a whole can, but I'll take another bite. Mm hmm. It's like a little breaded, little, little sweet little thing. Mm hmm. Me, I'm a. Uh, so what's next for me is um, I want to get these cars up. I want to start taking my 240 to the drift track, and like just getting out there with the boys and just like really doing like more cars, cause I love that. Shit. And on top of that, more music. I've been inspired recently. Bones, he every time he FaceTimes me or I call him, he's sitting in his studio with something for me to hear. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, bro, I just did this little, you know, it's, it's it, just tell me if you like it. It's, it's nothing really, and he'll play it. And I'm like, bro, it's just hard as hell. And you're just making it, just, just throwing it around. Like, I'm like, that's hard. He's, he has so many songs just stacked up. Like he doesn't even, me, when I got to do a, a mixtape or, or a new album or whatever, I got to make the songs, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't ever have songs just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I always like, it's like made to order type shit. Like, if I gotta do a tape, I know I gotta make 12 new songs and like, you know, which is fine. But he just, I think, I mean, he records new shit all the time, but he he can definitely sit there and just be like, oh, I like these 10, use those. Like just, he can make, he can, make, he can put out five tapes in one month if he wanted to type with all that music. And I just wanna get on that. I wanna get on, I just, cause I got the studio in my house too. Like I'm just like, I, I, you know, I be playing PlayStation all the time, or like riding my bike, or driving the cars. You know what I'm saying? I be kind of neglecting my little studio, man. But I'm gonna start getting back in there heavy and uh, pumping out this music. Uh, I'm about to drop. I just dropped a, a album with uh, Quentin Lamb, my boy from Memphis, uh, and that was fun. That whole process of recording that was fun, and it got me back like, like juiced up, like like fired up. It was like you know what I mean, like kind of. Sharpening the blade a little bit, I'm like, okay, cool. So this next tape, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go even harder. You know what I mean? I'm just, boom. So it's like that. So that's what's next for me. Uh, Such all the water boys. Um, we're trying to go on tour after this shit happens. Like this pandemic shit, like it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, cause I was supposed to go on tour last spring, got canceled because of this. Shit. Bones was supposed to go to Europe, and uh, that got canceled because of this. Shit. And, you know, of course we want to do another American tour. That got put on hold because all this. So, yeah, I guess what's, what I'm looking forward to, this pandemic shit gets taken care of so we can get back out there and start doing these shows because I miss doing shows. 